Um, you see, we live in this world. We have to understand it. If we don't live within the order of the world, we get sick. But the problem is, the world isn't what it looks like. This is what... what yes. So you see, in a, in a symbolic way, I could say, by looking inside, you can understand the world. By looking in the world, you can understand your inside. So you see, the traditional science, classical science, is materialism. Only material things are real, only material things are important. Newton explained everything in terms of moving material particles. God, he said, formed matter in solid mass, he hard, impenetrable particles, so very hard as to never wear or break in pieces. Nature, he said, is eternal. Well, with him, materialism entered science. With Darwin, it entered biology. And with that, it entered society. And selfishness and aggression became the virtues in our society, including our banking system. But that's only secondary. This. Very important. Yeah. So you see, at the dawn of a new era, Van Heisenberg, one of the founders of quantum physics, he said, end of materialism, molecules, elementary particles, they are really not material particles. And there has been a change in our view. This, what I'm telling you, is not philosophy. There are facts behind that can, that can support all of these statements, maybe a little bit in the end, but the basis of the material world is non-material. At the basis of matter, there is no matter. I'll explain in a second. There is a part of the world that we cannot see. Physics shows that this is the case. It's a scandal because science says you can explain the world by watching it. By watching it, we find out there's a part we can't see. It doesn't consist of material things, but of forms. The forms are real. Why are they real? Because they can act on us. They have the potential to act on us. They form a realm of potentiality. So here, you know, that's an important concept. The empirical world is an emanation out of a realm of potentiality. That's not poetry, it's not philosophy, it's a fact, I'll show you. Now, these, these forms in the realm of potential, we don't, of course, really know what is going on there. They seem to have the character of a wholeness, they seem to be contiguous, like water waves in an ocean. And there are mind-like aspects. So some people suggest that the universe is conscious. Okay, see here, some example. To understand atoms and molecules, 